Um, All right. Nick, can you hear us okay? Yep, I can hear you. All right, perfect. Uh, we'll get started first with Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hi, Nick. You've obviously had a nice couple, few games here. How has Anthony Hitchens helped you behind the scenes, and then how does maybe the dynamic change with him returning to the lineup? Uh, yeah, so everybody knows uh, Hitch one of those guys that's real selfless. Uh, he helps you out uh, throughout the roads and stuff like that. So uh, since he's been out, uh, it's like he's been an ascension of my coach. Uh, like I said, he played a lot of football. Uh, I think he's year 80 or 9 for him. Uh, so he's seeing things. Uh, I go on film. I go up to watch film with him. Uh, he kind of dissects some little keys and stuff like that. I'd have him play a little bit faster. Maybe a communication I can make before the snap. I can help out before this, uh, uh, as motion goes and stuff like that. So like I said, I've always said it's always been a blessing for me. Uh, and also just going to be able to learn behind them. And then uh, as things go forward, um, I'm not really sure uh, in terms of playing time, stuff like that. That's outside of my control. Uh, I know me and Hitch, I'm going to the game, uh, trying to execute the game plan we have up in front of us. Uh, the best of our abilities to go out there, have fun, uh, and play fast. Go next to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. I'll have a follow-up, Brad, as, as well. Um, wh where do you think you are right now as far as the scheme goes? I mean, uh, you know, do you feel you're 100%? And if you are, where did you feel like it all clicked where, hey, I, I got this all down? Uh, yeah, it's still a learning curve. Uh, every week's a learning curve for me. Uh, I'm trying to improve mentally every week. Uh, so I don't think I'm there uh, where I want to be. I know we're close to that. And so I'm still improving, trying to get to a uh, level of comfort that I had uh, prior uh, in, in years prior in college, stuff like that. Um, that takes time, uh, getting the speed of the game down and still and stuff like that. Uh, but every week's a new challenge for me, and I take it as that. Uh, coming in every single day, trying to get a little bit better. I'm um, trying to get a little bit more comfortable in the scheme. Uh, getting trust the guys around me as well. And then in, in your in your coverage, I know you've you know been winning awards for you know your play on the field. So you've obviously been doing very well. And and against the run, I mean, it really flashes as far as you coming in there and, and making an impact there. But in the coverage, how do you feel you are with the coverage? And what are the challenges? What was what are NFL receivers, backs, tight ends, whoever you're asked to cover, what what are they uh, a lot better at that maybe makes it a lot more difficult than it was in college? Uh, I think feel like everything uh, at this level is more of, of the mental aspect of it. Um, a lot of everybody here has, has great talent uh, in the NFL, so they play an all strike game every single week. Uh, um, so it just comes down to just different different calls, different just getting more comfortable, um, playing a little bit things more top down, uh, kind of living down the short throws and just rallying to it and making open field tackles. Uh, that's kind of something that's different here than it is. Um, uh, in college and stuff like that. So I guess you could say that might be the, the biggest difference uh, in that aspect. Other than that, though, um, it's, everybody's just talented. So you got to come in and play every single week. I uh, just try to get a little bit better. Go next to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Nick, congratulations on uh, NFL Defensive Rookie of the Month for October. Where were you when, when that notification came out? And then who was the one who told you about it? And, and lastly, what was your reaction? Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, so when I was actually in the locker room, uh, one of my linebackers, uh, OD, um, had to tell me he said, congratulations. I was like, oh, what for? Uh, he's like, oh, you want player of the month. Uh, so I was ecstatic. Um, uh, just for me, uh, like I said, um, I never came in here thinking I was trying to win that uh, award. But uh, to get uh, something like that uh, from, the, from the product I put out there on the field, um, it was an exciting moment for me, uh, but not the highlight of my, uh, my season, uh, I hope to be. So uh, still coming back in the next day, uh, come out there to work, uh, trying to get it again. Uh, that's the goal. I uh, just keep trending up toward uh, being the best player I can be for our football team. We've got three more. We'll go right down the line, starting with Harold Kuntz. Go ahead, Harold. Hey, Nick. And uh, like Herbie said, congratulations on your honor. Uh, Willie Gay has talked a lot very highly of you and just mentions how intelligent you are on the field. What is What do you credit the fact that you've been able to get to the scheme very quickly and be able to be intelligent on the field and make those right reading reactions very quickly so young in your NFL career? I think it started uh, back in OTAs uh, with the coaching staff we have here, along with the vets we have here. Uh, all those guys came in, open, open arms, uh, encouraged me to learn uh, and expand my knowledge um, in the game of football. And so, like I said, I give all the credit to the coaches and the, and, and the older guys. Um, you even got Willie, go Ben, Hitch, OD, um, all those guys that were here uh, already. They already had an idea of the scheme, kind of teaching me in and outs of it. Uh, throughout OTAs, and I took it seriously uh, to learn. And so, uh, once again, it's a product of those guys pushing me every single day to be uh, the best version of myself, and um, they're going to keep doing it, and I'm going to keep trying to be better. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go, Nate. Hey, Nate, congratulations again. Um, didn't get a chance to necessarily ask you this after the Tennessee game, but I'm wondering now, how much did your performance against Derrick Henry, considering how well he was playing at the time, how much confidence did that give you in terms of uh, being that sort of linebacker that can provide, obviously, stout run support? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, again, it was one of those confidence booster games. 
even though we came out there uh, and didn't perform the way we wanted to, I uh, ended up in a loss. So um, at the end of the day, I wasn't really too high on it because we lost. But after one back, saw the film and saw how, how I played at the Mike backer position, um, my first game actually starting there, I was pretty uh, excited for where I, I could go um, forward and, uh, and keep building on it. So uh, I feel like uh, he was playing great football at the time. Um, uh, wish him nothing but health. Uh, I believe he's hurt right now, so wish nothing but health. But uh, one of those guys will go to the Hall of Famer one day. So going out there and competing, having fun, and uh, making tackles on him uh, in the backfield uh, was a great start. Go last to Miss Karen Kornacki. Go ahead, Karen. Hey, how are you, Nick? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I want to ask you about Green Bay. Can you talk to me a little bit about what you've seen? <laughs> you don't uh, ha don't have much tape on Jordan Love. You're not facing Aaron Rodgers. So what are you expecting from this offense? Are you expecting them to run a lot? And what are you expecting from a quarterback that you really haven't seen much of? Um, yeah, I expect to, uh, they got two great backs. Um, uh, so I expect them to go ahead and uh, try to feed them early. Um, that's just how uh, I see how the game's going to go a little bit early. Uh, they got two great backs, uh, great at the backfield, great runners. Uh, run out the contact. So I uh, got to give all respect to those guys. I also got the, one of the best talented receivers in the league on the outside, Devontae Adams. So uh, I know they're going to come out there ready to play. Um, don't, I wish nothing, uh, but Aaron Rodgers, nothing but health as well. But um, come out there trying to execute our game plan to the best of our abilities uh, and run out there, uh, tackle, uh, have fun, and play with energy. And so uh, that's kind of our mindset is going into the next game and um, hope to execute that. Nick, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.